Hey, I'm Dan Dunn, coming to you from the 71st Annual Wine and Spirits Wholesalers of America Convention in Las Vegas, Nevada, beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. With me right here, this fine looking gentleman, uh, is the Beverage Development Specialist for Wurtz Beverage Nevada. He's also the president of the USBG chapter right here in Las Vegas, Andrew Pollard. Thank Andrew, you. Hey, pleasure. How are you? Thanks for having me. Oh, and I forgot to say, award-winning drinks maker. You won the Iron Mixology Long Drink category today. Indeed. Happy to, happy to be back. Uh, I've been involved with WSWE now. It's my third year, second time doing the Iron Mixologist competition. So taking uh, my second long drink uh, my long, second long drink trophy, so I think the, the stars are aligning here for your second my, one. my destiny is the long drink, I suppose. You know what so. they say about guys who can make a good long drink? I don't, I don't know what they say. Well, let me try and I'll tell you. <laughs> this, so this is the one right here. That's this it is right what, there. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me what... It's been sitting for a little bit, so that's, that's the drink. hot and bothered. So I kind of wanted to, to uh, uh, emphasize and kind of focus on you know, like the tiki culture that we're seeing a lot of. Uh, oh, bright, refreshing, kind of sexy cocktail with the orchids and the flavors that we're utilizing, kind of creating that... Also, masculine and feminine style cocktail that is approachable to anybody. So, uh, I was really happy with the way everything came out. So overall, we had some great competitors today. This, uh, for my for my involvement over three years, by far the uh, the most superior group of folks that have been involved in this competition. So, I was happy to take away something today. How different is it for you? See, yeah, there we go. Everybody's yeah, going yeah, nuts yeah. here today. How different is it for you? You're going to sit down and prepare this drink for a consumer versus standing on that stage with all this other talent around you, do you feel the pressure? Or is it once you get going, is it just, you know, old hat for you? I've been, I've been involved with numerous competitions and it was a very much a part of my earlier career, uh, something that I really enjoy doing. This is kind of a, nit, a niche that you have. It's kind of when you get up on the stage, you kind of get the, uh, the enthusiasm and the excitement and the anticipation of what you're about to do. Uh, I feel very comfortable in that, in that role and that's just something that we do every day. Yeah. So if you, it's just, it kind of becomes second, second nature really, you know? And, Creating cocktails that are that are unique and and uh, without overcomplicating them, and that can appease to really anybody for that matter. Are you nervous waiting for the results? You're always nervous, you know. You especially when you're in your backyard, you don't want to, you know, come home empty-handed. So, like I sure. said, there was a there was a real big crew this year, some really heavy hitters, and uh, I, I I feel grateful to have to come home coming home with a trophy. Have you ever, you say you've done a lot of competitions, have you ever done a competition where you finish your drink and you went, oh man. Absolutely bailed. No good. Absolutely. No Terrible. good at all. Uh, my first, it was actually my first live USBG uh, competition here. It was held here at Nora's and uh, I was so excited and focused on technical technique and kind of being charismatic and everything and I doubled up all of my ingredients. It was just an absolute disaster. Bad. <laughs> But you live and learn. I say, I say, no matter what, um, and, and inspiring and mentoring folks to to come up and and, and be uh, motivated to move forward and do more competitions and, and be involved and put themselves out there. That win, lose, or draw, you'll always take away something. Whether sure. it's something that you did or didn't do right, or one of your other competitors or com uh, comrades, if you will. Yeah. So one of the things uh, that the host, the great Tony Abu Ghanem, talked about repeatedly today. He has amazing hair. He does. His hair is fantastic. I knew him when he had an afro. It was incredible. Yeah. Way back in the 70s. Um, but one of the things he, he touched on a lot uh, throughout the competition was just how far everything's come in a, in a relatively short time. How have, in your opinion, how have things changed in the, in the mixology world since, you know, when you first got behind a bar to where you're sitting right now? I mean, it's obviously, it's, it's really, obviously it has evolved. Um, something that, I mean, we see different trends everywhere. You know, there will always be trends in whether they're flavors, uh, spirit trends, you know, ingredients, what have you, we'll always have that. I think it's, you know, it's something specific to Las Vegas. Um, a lot of other markets have already seen this. Is that something that's more specific is that Las Vegas is finally uh, evolving into individuality, whereas before Las Vegas has always kind of tried to be everything to everybody. Um, but sure. with uh, new, progressive, innovative um, cocktails, ingredients, and demand for a better quality product, Las Vegas is really evolving into an incredibly progressive and innovative market, of which has is, is really, been, really been sought after uh, over the last couple of years by the, on a more global scale. So right. having, these, having these great folks come out here for the Nightclub and Bar Show and WSWA and different uh, programs that we have out here really give us the opportunity to put that on a showcase and a platform. You gonna go for the hat trick next year? 
Go for the hat trick. For no, the long we. Drink. Uh, I don't know. We uh, we have some new folks joining our team uh, in the Midwest through Wisconsin and Chicago. So I'll let the young bucks go. We're gonna go uh, out on go top. Sweat it yeah, out. We're gonna go out on top. It's always good. It's always good to go out with a with a win. Yeah. So, uh, but like I said, a, a great group of uh, friends today on stage, and it feels good to be feels good to be back in the ring, and obviously uh, take it home a little little prize. Well, it's a delicious drink, and I want to say congratulations Thank you. again. Appreciate it. This Thank is Andrew you so much. Pollard. Thank you. From the seventy first. Wine and Spirits Wholesalers of America Convention, best long drink in the Iron Mixology competition, and this is a good long drink, let me tell you. Mm. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you.